Hi there! Today we have the newly launched Crossbeat Orbit Infinity. And this literally has everything that you can ask for in a smartwatch. Hold your breath, the list is really long. So first it comes with an AMOLED display. And second you get 8 GB of internal storage, which means you can save up to 1500 songs on the watch. Then it also comes support to connect your Bluetooth earphones. 100 plus sports modes, 200 plus watch faces and yes they're all free and of course the usual heart rate sensor, SpO2 sensor, blood pressure monitoring and two straps included in the packaging, one silicon and one leather. Now that's really really impressive. I'm very excited so without further ado let's quickly jump into the unboxing, see how it looks and we'll check out those amazing features as well. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Crossbeat Orbit Infinity. Towards the back here, you can see some of its key specifications. It comes with a sharp AMOLED display, 1.39 inch 3D curved screen, TWS connection, Bluetooth voice calling, music storage up to 8 gigabytes, voice recording, always on display, 110 plus sports modes, 200 plus watch faces, power saving mode. Here you have the QR code for the Fitwinner app and the MRP which is 14,999. Don't worry, you can get this for a lot lesser. All right, let's open it up. All right, we are in. And right on the top, we have the card. Hello, Namaste, Namaste Ji. Protect your smartwatch for free. All they want you to do is scan this QR code and register to claim your free screen guard for the watch. Cool idea. Then here is the quick start guide. Really nice. Oh, wow, check that out. We have two straps. The watch is here and we have a leather strap and we have a soft rubber silicone strap. Oh, this is amazing. Check out the quality of the strap. Truly, truly impressive. And here is the leather strap. Wow. And finally, here is the watch itself. Wow. Metal frame, very nice. We'll have a quick look at it in just a moment. Meanwhile, we'll see what else is inside the box. And you have the user manual of the Orbit Infinity. Manuals in English. And finally, the charging cable with Poco pins. All right, so here's the watch and both the straps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect one strap first, the silicon one, because I believe we're gonna use this the most often during workouts and outdoor runs. So we're gonna use this first and see how this looks. And to attach these straps is fairly simple. All you need to do is align these hooks in here, pull and connect. That's it. Similarly, this goes in here and there you go. Let's also get rid of the sticker on the top so that we can have a better look at the watch. Wow, round dial, really nice. We have a matte silver finish and this is a metal frame. Looks really, really premium. Towards the other side, you can spot two buttons. Very nice build really nice quality straps i don't think i need to say anything the strap quality is speaking for itself you have the crossbeat branding on the loop as well as on the buckle itself very classy now moving towards the back the back is made of plastic and it houses all the sensors in the center the heart rate sensor the sp2 sensor and the charging terminals below now if you look closely here this is where is the microphone so it's going to be helpful for phone calls and right here on the top is the speaker I'm sure you can see it, yeah. So if you're gonna to listen to music or during phone calls, that too is gonna to be very, very helpful. So now let's check out the leather straps because if you wanna go for a formal attire, then I think leather straps will go perfectly. So to remove them, pull, to release, very, very convenient. There you go, super simple, barely takes a couple of seconds. Now that looks so classy. The matte gray finish goes so well with these tan straps. Very nice. This buckle too comes with the crossbeat branding. Very good quality leather strap. Looks really nice. What do you say? Which one do you like better? The leather strap or the silicone, rubber silicone strap? So the watch comes with IP67 rating, which means mild splashes, sweat or wearing it in the rain is absolutely fine. Let's have a look at the display. So we get a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 454 by 454 pixels. And let me tell you, the display is super crisp. It's also very responsive. And the best part about AMOLED displays is that you get super vibrant colors and deep blacks. Here you can see the blacks completely blend in with the bezels. Look really nice. Animated icons, there you can see some. 
very responsive interface as well really nice here you can see the infinity watch face looks really cool talking about watch faces there are 100 watch faces that you can access on the watch itself yes check that out and there are 100 more that you can download from the companion app now i'll just quickly take you through the interface swipe from up you can access the quick toggles you have the qr code you have the i button for information then inside bluetooth right now it's on phone mode which means you can make and receive phone calls from the watch then there's local mode you can play the music that is saved on the phone and tws mode where you can connect bluetooth earphones and listen to that music really really cool then here's the battery percentage here's the settings we'll come to that in just a moment swipe right to see the steps heart rate spo2 weather and even the voice assistant which you can use directly from the watch so suppose you take your phone and you click this button what's the weather in mumbai so you can actually hear the answer on the phone itself which is really really good further when you swipe from down you can actually access all the apps you can see this is in that cellular beehive menu and i know a lot of people really love this design then let's quickly check out the settings you have the display settings set the time vibration strength brightness view mode now view mode there is a list option also for those who don't like the beehive design there's actually a list which is also really really cool now if you come to the list you can actually see steps sleep heart rate blood oxygen blood pressure music sports sports history this breathe app weather app call app messages flashlight calculator alarm watch ai voice stopwatch timer voice recorder camera control and settings just amazing this is so good then this view mode you can set the language do not disturb power save mode usb mode to transfer songs to the watch about shutdown reboot and reset just amazing so let's check out phone calls we'll use our phone we'll go to the menu here and we'll go to call and here you can go to recent contacts and dial back i'll just go to recent and uh, let's dial and there you go dial so right now the audio hearing is actually from the speaker on the watch and trust me it's so clear you can disconnect the call you can control the volume everything right from your watch itself similarly when you receive a phone call you can actually see the caller's name with an option to end the call or answer the call here's actually from where you can even control the speaker so we are answering the call so right now you can actually hear me from the watch speaker as well yeah double voice you can mute it you can end the call you can actually even control the volume works amazing so the phone calling experience was actually pretty good it was very loud and clear both ways the other person didn't even know i was using my watch for this phone call however it's best used indoors outdoors it will capture a lot of ambient sound all right so this crossfit orbit infinity comes with 8 gb internal storage to save music that you can listen anytime on the go without needing to carry your phone with you but to transfer that music you will need a laptop or pc yes a mac too will work and to do that you're going to need the watch charging cable connect the charging pin to the watch then connect the usb a side to the laptop and a window will show up with two folders music and recorder just drag and transfer the audio files to the music folder and you're done then you take your watch swipe from up go into bluetooth settings and choose local mode now go back to the home page go to the music player and click play now this is the music that was just saved on the watch you can change the track from here directly there you go now for the fun part how about pairing bluetooth earphones to this watch similarly you go up go into the bluetooth settings and come into tws mode and i say no bluetooth connected click on search get your to bluetooth earphones the name of the tws earphones will show up click here and they're paired and ready to use now basically the songs that we just saved on the watch can be heard on these bluetooth earphones without needing to carry your phone with you i think that's super amazing so we wanted to check if the health sensors are actually working so we went to the heart rate we kept it on the table we thought we'll check if it works and we got measure failed where the watch correctly let's also check out the spo2 on the table and it says measure failed where the watch correctly so let's wear it all right let's check out the heart rate 
and there you go we get 80 beats per minute let's check out the spo2 and we got 98 percent now let's check out the blood pressure and there you go we got 118 by 79 now all these health monitoring features seem to be very accurate but as i always say use these just for reference and not for medical purposes so let's check out the sports modes we go into the menu and write down here our sports we have 100 sports modes on this watch you have cricket you're running hiking riding basketball skipping climbing badminton football yoga then they'll be divided into categories fitness casual workout ball games water games chess i don't know how chess is a workout but yeah they've got literally everything in in casual you have outdoor walk you have dance your belly dancing you have latin dance your ballet street dance zumba pole dance jazz pilates oh my god the collection is oh my god wow it's literally anything that you can imagine but one thing that i see missing on this is actually swimming yes uh, I'm not being able to spot swimming. Just let me see if it's there in water sports. It's sailing, surfing, kayaking, rowing, water polo, ice hockey, skiing, snowboarding. Okay. So no, I don't see swimming in this list. Though it has a huge collection of lists. And this is waterproof. But yet, there is no swim tracking here. Meanwhile, yes, once you click on it, your workout will start. You'll see the time. You'll see the beats per minute. you see the calories burnt any other option okay that's it once apart from that you can only save it or exit perfect so the crossfit infinity comes with a 300 mAh battery and the company claims it lasts for 15 days now that would be in the best possible scenario in real world it would be drastically lesser as you would be using it for phone calls to listen to music health monitoring sensors brightness sports modes there are so many things so keep in mind that the battery life will be a lot lesser now let's have a quick look at the fitwear companion app so right here on the home page, it will show you the daily steps, your target, the weather, humidity. Right on the top, you can actually move to sleep tracking, your logs, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your blood oxygen levels. All those details will be available here. There you go. Then second one is exercise where it will actually use the phone's GPS to map your run, which is really, really good. So you can use this for running, you can use this for walking and you can use this for riding. Third option is devices. So right on the top, you can see the device is paired. It'll show you the battery percentage. You can choose from a 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock. Heart rate auto detect, short measure, long measure, metric in units, watch market. Once you go in here, it'll show you the recommended list. If you come to my, these are the watch faces that are already there on your watch. Yes. So you can actually even change them even quickly from here. You can just, for example, click on this and set as watch face. And there you go it has changed similarly there is a recommended list and there is a whole new list that you can download and install from here then coming back you have message send we can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't click finish once you choose then there's smart alarms you can set alarms from here then you have screen saver time which you can choose the screen on time 15 seconds 30 seconds 45 seconds and 60 seconds then you have sedentary reminders, water reminders, wrist screen light, do not disturb, temperature unit, you can take pictures, find the watch, clear data. And this is my favorite part that now you can share data with Strava and Google Fit. And I know a lot of people really look forward to this feature. Now I have to say that Crossbeat has done a very good job when it comes to their app. Because initially their app was really buggy. Now you can use the GPS from the app as well as you can download over 200 watch faces. And the best part is they're all free. Really good, I think they've done a splendid job this time with their companion app. All right, so the Crossbeat Orbit Infinity takes everything and more than what you look for in a smartwatch. Literally everything. In fact, they even went ahead and bundled a leather strap along. Great. Now some previous Crossbeat watches had paid watch faces and laggy companion app interface. This time they made sure they fixed everything. The Crossbeat Orbit Infinity is priced at 6,999. And for what they are offering, you get excellent build, AMOLED display and all these tons of features. I think it's totally worth it. Yes, I wish it had built-in GPS and that would have just taken it to the whole new level. But yes, there is a workaround. You can use GPS with the companion app and I think that will suffice for most of us. It's going on sale today. I'll leave the link below in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
Until next time, cheers.